Blessings, family. Thank you guys for being here back again for another prophetic word. I'm so excited to bring this word unto you all. First of all, my name is Beautiful Empress Warrior. For those stopping by here for the very first time, I welcome you here. Go ahead and subscribe right down below. Turn on your bell notification. That way you may be notified. And for those who have been coming back to this channel, I appreciate all your love and support here on this channel. I thank God for coming forth with this word. I I know I'm going to place this word down off in y'all spirit, allow you guys to know what our Heavenly Father is speaking in this time. He is speaking about y'all relationships in this time. He said, Esther and the King in Jesus' name. So Esther and the King, y'all already know what that means in Jesus' name. But if you stopping by and you don't know what that means, God is talking about these marriages. God is talking about these relationships that you guys have prayed unto him. Just know there's a time. For everything underneath here in this kingdom, underneath this earth, that's in Ecclesiastics, it's a time for everything. And we know everybody has their different time. So if this is your time, give God all the praise, the glory, and the honor in the mighty name of Jesus. He has had you prepared for quite some time. I know you guys have been in wait for quite some time. But y'all made that vision with him. Y'all made that connection with our Heavenly Father. Y'all made that connection with your first husband first. And your first husband first is ready to go ahead and release you unto that one uh, that they have designed, orchestrated for you. You know that a woman has come from the rib in Jesus' name. Y'all have came from men. And, and God said that it's better for men not to be alone. So you as a woman, as a queen, has been created for that man. So yes, you have been asking. Yes, you have been waiting. Yes, you have been pruning yourself and prepping yourself and preparing yourself. And you've been waiting for a mighty long time. So if this is your word, this is your video, you're going to know it because you're going to feel it off down in your spirit. God is speaking in this hour. God is speaking in this time. And God is speaking in this season. So if this is your season, give him all the glory, the honor, and the praise and y'all help celebrate whoever season this is because once you celebrate on them when your time comes then you'll also be celebrated as well don't block your manifestations by being upset or mad at the next individual because they have received a breakthrough or they blessings because all you're going to do is block yours so continue to be happy continue to be grateful continue to uh, make sure you're doing the right thing and this shall return and come upon you in this time but I come forth to talk to the women, the young ladies, the older ladies, uh, whoever it may be. And also for the men, you may receive some exhortation or you may receive some benefits for this as well. But this is mainly for the ladies. I come forth in Jesus' name. I want to sharpen that iron with you guys because we know iron sharpen iron. And we know in order to get to these stages, you have had to go through in order to get here. I have been through in order to get here. That's why I'm able to come on here and bring forth this lesson unto you guys. And it's not to hurt your feelings. It's to remind you how far you have come in Jesus' name. And also for those who don't know, in order to teach you some things, you young ladies, you young labs on here, we love you well because I know we once was there, but we had to get to where we at. And we know if you learn these things now, it'll be easier down your journey in Jesus' name. But we talking about self uh, we're going to be talking about uh, uh, also those that have broken hearts on here in Jesus' name. Like I say, everybody is at different levels. Maybe your hearts is already uh, healed from God, but I want to let you know those that have broken hearts, you can be healed in this time because I once had broken hearts with an S on the end, but God has healed me. I am not bitter. I'm not miserable. I know that there's a second chance at this in Jesus' name. My heart is full of love. It is open, so I'm open to receive. So if you in that situation, just know God can heal you too from all those past hurts and pains. You know, those past disappointments, just know he can he can turn you back around in Jesus' name, just like he did Mary in Jesus' name. God is good. God is great. But yes, uh, uh, we coming out of the book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 18 22 and 25 I have that all in the bottom of the description box but it was talking about how a woman was created from that rib from that man in Jesus name and it's also uh, we want to speak about a woman is the glory of the man 
but a woman was created for the man in Jesus name God is good so also let me go ahead and read this uh, we coming out of Titus chapter 2 verse 3 through 5 the age woman likewise that they be in behavior and becometh holiness not false accusers not giving too much wine teachers of good things so right now I'm coming forth you know I'm an older woman you know in Jesus name and I thank God for my age in Jesus name I am not ashamed in the mighty name of Jesus because he will preserve you in the mighty name of Jesus God is good but I come forth to teach those that are young, those that are older, whoever may receive something from this word, I'm here to teach you in Jesus' name. It don't matter what age you are. You can come forth and teach the older, the younger, the mid, in between, however it may go. You will feel it in your spirit. But I'm here to teach you and edify you on about a woman and young ladies becoming women. Just teaching you a little something to give you a reminder of these things. That they may teach, mean, and train. The young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands. And you heard it said own husbands in Jesus' name. That the word of God be not blasphemy in Jesus' name. So I'm here to teach those that don't know. I'm here to remind those that already know in Jesus' name. This word is like a, a universal word where it may hit all types of women in Jesus name but we thank God for this word because it's just all about taking stand and knowing our value and knowing our worth and you know giving ourselves some self-love self-care you know and and, and and having acceptance in ourselves we accept the fact that God has chose us we didn't choose him in the name of Jesus we once was blind but now we see in Jesus name so we accept ourselves and we accept the fact of our life and what we face in Jesus name and we just stand up and we have self-respect for ourselves because if we don't respect ourselves how could somebody else respect us in Jesus name how could a man respect us in Jesus name so and it's all about having self-esteem feeling good about yourself in Jesus name because if you don't have self-esteem you may go off and worry about what others think about you you have that self-esteem and that self-love inside of you you don't worry about the outside you just feel good about yourself you accept who you are and it's like you have that feeling and that energy of it is what it is you know they either set me how I am or they don't accept me you know our vibe attract our tribe in Jesus name but it's just having that self-confidence and that self-worth inside of us in Jesus name and you know it's all about speaking your truth in Jesus name you know keeping it real you know uh, like I say some gonna like you and some ain't gonna like you it's not all about you uh, serving them. It's all about you knowing who you are, knowing knowing your confidence, your self-value, your self-worth in Jesus' name. That's what it's all about in Jesus' name. And then also about being fearless because God don't give us the spirit of fear. The spirit of fear come from the enemy. God give us the spirit of a sound mind. He give us good. He give us peace. So just knowing the difference between that, just being fearless because God is our strength. He is our refuge. He is our vengeance. So it's just having that 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 confidence to know that you walk in you walking fearless like you not afraid you know you having that confidence so that's where that self-worth and that self-esteem so it's levels to this in jesus name it's levels to this and you shall get there if you're not there yet but some of you guys have went through these stages and you guys already know these things so you guys continue to walk in those things and continue to uh, uh be a better you in jesus name and then it's also about also about beauty as well we know some people you know they focus on the outside you know the beauty on the outside and then sometimes that inner is not beauty that inner is ugliness so you want to have that beauty on the outside as well and let me tell you you are beautiful how you are God made you wonderful so whoever you are on here is not all about competing and comparing yourself because that's where that self-love and that inner that inner woman and that inner man is worked on in Jesus name and that way all those things on the outer won't reflect on to you all your beauty it'll speak for itself because you'll have that inner beauty first and then that inner beauty will radiate itself on the outer and you'll have that outer beauty as well that 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 radiant sunshine of outer beauty in jesus name so it's not all about being vain and 
oh, uh, 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 prepping yourself and doing all these things. You have that confidence. You come as you are in Jesus' name because you have that confidence and you know that you know that beauty don't come from the outside. You know your beauty radiate from the inside all the way out in Jesus' name. And also having wisdom. Make wisdom your best friend. That's in the book of Proverbs in Jesus' name. Proverbs 1 and 7 and also Proverbs 3. 13 and 15. I like you guys to read those as well. Also Proverbs 12 4 and 14 1. You know it talks about that virtuous woman. It talks about that woman that 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 buildeth her house in Jesus name. It talks about how that woman is a crown to her husband in Jesus name and in Proverbs 9 13 it talks about the opposite of that woman which is a foolish woman and a foolish woman is simple and it knows nothing. So I come to to give you this exhortation to teach you and to allow you know you don't have to be that foolish woman no more if you have been a foolish woman. We all have been a foolish woman at one time, so not to discredit you or put you down. We here to lift you up and to teach you the right way. So you know, it talks about that foolish woman, she's simple, and you know, she don't have no knowledge, but that virtuous woman, you know, she has that knowledge in Jesus' name. She has everything that it takes for that king in Jesus' name, but just know, before she became that Proverbs woman, just know she was foolish first. So we all was foolish first till we learn our lessons. So I'm here to teach you and to exhort you, you know, to allow you to know these things, you know, to remind you and to teach our young women in Jesus' name that comes up after us so that, you know, we passing the torch unto them. And, you know, iron sharpens iron, so we must teach them, you know, because uh, the apple don't far, 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 far from the tree. We may have had mistakes and happenings in our lives, and we couldn't teach our daughters the right thing. But now that you have this information and this knowledge, it's never too late to go back and try in Jesus' name. You put God first, put him in it, he's going to work everything out for any of you guys having problems in those areas. But we thank God for those who don't even have problems in those areas. Y'all continue to be blessed. Y'all can teach continue to teach those young ladies teach them the right things the ways they should go we know it take a village to raise a household they don't even have to be your children but if god placed that on the inside of you to speak to that young lady or speak to that older lady or to just talk to whoever in jesus name you go ahead and go forth because you never know what you may be doing in their lives in jesus name but i thank you guys i appreciate you guys for being on here I know everything is going to work out in y'all favor. This is for wives. This is for young ladies. This is for the women. This is for the queens. And this is for the kings who also want to gain that information on this. But God is good. Y'all be blessed. Have a wonderful, prosperous day today. I pray that y'all receive something from this. Y'all continue to wear y'all crown. Don't put it down because the enemy wants y'all to put it down in Jesus' name. Continue to be humble in these things. Do not be vain. Allow God to work on you and use you. And they'll see your beauty duty radiate from the inside out in Jesus name. I pray y'all receive something from this Proverbs 31 woman. And I say Proverbs 31 woman because we got to go from something to get to something. And I'm saying Proverbs 31 woman because everybody that's not at that level you shall be at that level in the mighty name of Jesus. Y'all be blessed and have a wonderful prosperous day today. I thank y'all for tuning back in and I'll see you guys again on that next prophetic video. I love you guys. God love you guys. I'm here. I'm here to set the captives free and to heal the broken hearted. So I pray that your heart be healed and it shall be in this time. Take one day at a time. God can do it. He did it for me. I went through many relationships in Jesus' name where they failed and my heart was broken. But God has given me a clean and a new heart. I'm able to still love these ones that broke my heart in Jesus' name and continue to love on others I don't even know in Jesus' name. So tell me that ain't no God in Jesus' name. Y'all be blessed. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And y'all just keep coming back for this word if God leads y'all. Y'all don't be selfish. We don't have to tear nobody down. We here to build everybody up. And there's room for everybody, queens, in Jesus' name. There's no need to compete. Amen, amen. God is good. I love you guys. Can't stop, won't stop. Amen, amen.